I just got this in the mail from Risk Racing. If you guys aren't familiar with Risk Racing, basically they make everyday products for dirt bikers and motocrossers, but they do it in a very unique and innovative way. Let me give you an example, one sec. Stickers. I'll let Mason put those somewhere. He's the expert. Mason's the expert on knowing where to put stickers. But you guys, this is a three gallon gas can, which is perfect for kids. Very easy for them to be able to put gas in their bikes by themselves. But I know what you're thinking. Well, what's so great? What's so special about a gas can? Well, let me show you. Here's the hose cap. Sweet. Look at that. Oh. Bam. I've got a couple of pet peeves about my old gas can. First of all, let's start with the hose. Okay, so filling up this bike with this gas can right now is a piece of cake. I just use one hand to tip it and the other hand to aim with the hose. Problem is, if this thing was full, if this thing had four or five gallons, it would be a pain in the butt trying to lift it with one hand, which would mean I need two hands which means I don't have control over the hose, which means I'm probably gonna spill and waste gas in the process. This thing on the other hand has a built-in mechanism. Bam, look at that. It's so simple, it's genius. One-handed, two-handed if you need it. Perfect, so simple, so easy. Even I would have a hard time messing this one up. This is the breather on the gas can. Now I've owned a lot of gas cans. I don't know if I've ever not lost a breather cap on a gas can. And these are my gas cans right now. This one, I think we had for a day and then the breather came off. That one, breather cap, gone. This one, breather cap, broken. This one, doesn't even have one, Never mind. okay. So the other problem with this gas can, it is very top heavy, it's upright. So if you put it in the back of the truck, if it's not tied down or wedged in there really good, you go around a turn, it falls over, no breather cap, so there's gas spilling out. I know what you're thinking to yourself, this is a pretty upright gas jug too, so that could tip over the back of a truck. Well, not so fast, because they also have this floor mount that you could put in the back of a truck or a Jeep or an El Camino or whatever you have, which we're not gonna do right now because we're actually in the market for a trailer. So we're gonna save this for the trailer. So you just bolt that in and then snap that in place. And that ain't going nowhere. Try to pull it apart, Mason. No, that's how you pull it apart. I'm saying like down here, try to pull it apart. Yeah, see, so you can't do it. You can't oh, do yeah. it. But <laughs> if you pull it right here, bam, easy. So thank you to Risk Racing for sending this to us. If you guys, if you're smart, do yourself a favor, go to Instagram, follow Risk Racing, because they've got lots of other cool products and they're always coming out with more that you don't want to miss out on.